Information sheet number six is about basic table setting. Our learning outcomes for this topic is to set up a casual dinner table and a formal dinner table. Previous lesson, we learned about food and we learned that food brings people together for special or social occasions. So, maganda na matutunan din natin kung paano makapag-set up ng table for this type of occasions. The way we set our table is important because it influences three things. The tone or feeling that people have about being together. It lets people know that you think they are important enough that you put on an extra effort for them and it influences the appearance of the food served. So, ito yung mga dapat nating isipin why table setting is important. We now go to tablewares. Tableware, also known as dinnerware or crockery, are the dishes or dishware used to set a table, serve, and display food. The nature of tableware varies from religion, culture, and cuisine. So, there are different types of tablewares na ipapresent natin. We have first the serveware from the term serve, used for serving. So, this comprises of serving bowls, platters, salad bowls, dessert bowls, casseroles, soup pots, teapots, and other dishes that are used to bring and present food in the table. So, yan yung mga um, types ng serveware. Utensils such as serving spoons, ladles, pair of tongs, and containers used for serving drinks such as peaches are also classified in this category. So, serveware used for serving. We now go to dinnerware or also known as chinaware or crockery comprised of anything that is used to serve individual portions during a meal. So, ito yung madalas nating uh, pinagkakainan, di ba? Sa mga bahay natin, yung mga plato, basic plate, and bowl. Okay? To more specialized dinnerware. So, from the basic na plato, meron tayong mga tinatawag din na specialized dinnerware. Yung may mga kakaibang shape, may kakaibang kulay, or sizes for specific purposes. The courses of meal served will influence the choice and arrangement of dinnerware. It is usually made with materials such as melamin, porcelain, glass, stoneware, or earthenware. So, sa bahay namin, ang ginagamit namin ay um, plastic plates. Kasi mas, ma, mas magaan at mas madaling hugasan. So, hindi ako natatakot na pag nabasag or nabagsak is mababasag agad-agad. Okay? Pero, syempre, maganda rin mag-invest tayo sa mga magagandang dinnerware for yung mga special occasions. Serveware, also known as flatware, is comprised of cutlery such as spoons, forks, and knives. So, basically, ang silverware, yan yung mga pang pick-up natin ng food. Okay? They may vary in size and shape depending on the variety. Comes in different price points where you can choose from depending on your budget. Uh, mayroong store sa may Santa Lucia na all about uh, dito yung mga kitchenware. So, nakaka-enjoy uh, tingnan yung mga different uh, styles or designs ng mga silverware. So, syempre, uh, yung price din Ayan, medyo may mga kamahalan, pero meron din naman mga budget-friendly. Number four is drinkware, used to describe any item that can be drunk from. Okay, so madali namang ma-distinguish na yung drinkware talaga is yung ginagamit pang inom. This category of tableware is comprised of mugs, cups, and glasses. 
comes in different shapes and sizes. The specific glass is usually chosen depending on the beverage or theme of occasion. So, depende kung ano yung iinumin. Diba? May, mga, may mga types of glasses na para sa wine, para sa brandy, para lang sa mga juice. So, depende sa iinumin. So, paano ba mag-set up ng casual table setting? Okay, so meron tayong image dyan kung saan pinapakita ano-ano ba yung mga um, pwede nating ilagay na mga items sa isang casual table. So, magsisimula tayo sa placemat and then dun sa ibabaw nun, meron tayong napkin. Sa ibabaw ng napkin, nandun yung dinner fork natin. So, nasa left side siya ng inyong pinaka dinner plate. So, sa dinner plate na nasa center, sa ibabaw, ipapatong yung salad plate. So, mas maliit ng konti sa dinner plate. And then, nasa ibabaw yung soup bowl. Okay? Tapos, nasa right side ng ating dinner plate, yung dinner knife. On, meron din tayong soup spoon. Then, sa bandang taas ng dinner knife, nandun yung ating water glass and wine glass. Okay, bakit ba nasa ibabaw yung soup bowl? Kasi diba usually, yan yung unang sineserve. Yung soup muna, nagsisimula sa soup. And then, after ng soup, magkakaroon din yung minsan yung appetizer. Minsan in a form of a salad, kaya salad plate. And then, after ng appetizer, yun na, yung main course na tinatawag, yung pinaka bida na mga food for that occasion. Okay, so, at least ito man lang, no, during occasion sa bahay ninyo, limbawa may birthday or anniversary, medyo i-level up natin yung ating dining experience kahit sa bahay lang. Pwede tayong mag-set up ng ganito, yung casual table setting. Okay? So, knowing how to set a casual table will come in handy when you're tasked with knowing how to set an informal table for a get-together or a laid-back dinner party. So, yun nga, mas magiging special kumbaga yung occasion kapag medyo may arte yung ating uh, table setting. As a general rule, Only set out the glassware, tableware, and flatware that you're going to be using. So, ilabas lang natin kung ano talaga yung kailangan natin for that particular um, event. Siyempre, nakadepende dun sa ating food na isiserve. So, kung wala naman tayong isiserve na soup, oh, wag na tayo maglagay ng soup bowl, ba? Diba? Sayang lang yung space. Okay? So, nasa atin naman yon kung paano natin... Uh, i-lay out yung ating uh, casual table. Okay, so next is uh, so yung instruction na ilagay na dito. So, since meron tayo na nung illustration, medyo madali na nating sundan yun. Casual table setting etiquette tips. If using individual salt and pepper shakers for each guest, Place them at the top of the placemat. Otherwise, place them near the center of the table or if using a long rectangular table, place them in the middle of each end. So, yung mga salt and pepper, di ba? May mga tao na yung panlasa nila nakadepende rin dun sa food na sinaserve. Yung iba, medyo gusto mas salty, mas peppery. So, mas maganda, meron tayong nakaredy na mga salt and pepper for our guests. Next, how to set up naman a formal dinner table. If you're hosting an elegant dinner party, you may want to know how to set up a table for a three-course meal. The biggest difference between a casual table and a formal table is the use of chargers, also known as presentation plates. So, dito, sa formal table, kadalasan ginagawa ito, limbawa yung mga... Wedding, ayan. Debut, di ba? Ayan, kasi formal event yun eh. So, yan yung mga pwede natin gawin. Paano ba ang 
pagsiset up ng formal dinner table. So, makikita natin dito sa ating illustration, mas maraming um, table wares ang kailangan for the formal dinner. So, di ba? Sa dami niyan, parang ali, hindi mo na malaman alin ba dyan yung uunahin mo. Okay, so makikita natin yung nadagdag is, ano ba, yung charger. Yung charger daw, yung presentation plate. So, usually, itong plate na to, um, malaki. And, minsan, dun sa ibang mga occasions, may mga design. Okay, so nadagdag tayo dito ng mga uh, may white and red wine glass meron din bread plate or end butter knife dessert spoon yung ating salt and pepper shaker place card so yung place card usually dyan nakalagay diba kung yung sino yung guest na nakaupo dun sa pwesto na yon yun yung place card minsan uh, number Okay, di ba? Sa invitation, ini-indicate doon, halimbawa, kung saan table number ka pupwesto para pagdating na doon sa mismong event, hindi na naghahanap-hanap pa. Okay? So, yan. So, yung instructions, kung, is, kung titingnan natin dito sa illustration, yan, maganda, madali na siyang masunod. And... Okay, formal table setting etiquette tips. After the soup course is complete and the bowls are cleared, a salad plate will take the soup bowls position. Traditionally, a charger holds the spot for the table for the dinner plate and is removed after the salad course so the place is never bare. If you do not want to clear the table after the soup course and bring out dinner plates, you can place a dinner plate on top of the Charger. So, yun daw yung formal table setting etiquette tips na pwede nating sundin when we do formal table setting for special occasions. Okay? So, I hope you learned something from this at ma-apply nyo ito sa inyong mga future occasions. So, kahit ako, no, pwede ko rin itong may apply sa aming pwedeng mga uh, naka- planong events. Okay? So, siguro, mas magagamit natin dito is casual table setting. Kasi, simple lang, pero elegante naman din tingnan. Okay? So, on the comments below, I want you to share kung naka-experience na kayo ng ganitong type of table setups, kung naka-experience na kayo ng casual or formal uh, table setting, ano yung occasion na yon And, ano ba yung experience? Masaya ba? Okay? Na-overwhelm ba kayo? So, share them on the comments below. So, this is our video for information sheet number 6. See you again on the next video lesson.